Hello, my name is Martin Lyons. I'm a farmer in Cambridgeshire. And on our farm, we grow crops like wheat for bread and biscuits, beans to feed animals and people, oilseed rape for the oil and for cooking, and barley to make beer and whiskey. So behind me, I've got a field of wheat, which we'll be harvesting later on in the summer. And then beside it, we try and deliver across the farm lots of different habitats for insects and wildlife. So as you see, all the way across this part of the field, in a few weeks time, this will be full of colour and, and flowers to increase the pollinators we have and all the insects. So it's really important to have a home for lots of bees, for the crops we grow that have flowers so they can pollinate that, and also a home for all the insects that can come and eat the pests I don't want in my fields. And that helps me re reduce the use of products. So this is an area of field we plant. This will be full of seeds that the birds can eat. It's really important to deliver a food source to feed all the birds in the winter. And this is a bit later in the year. And then in the winter, it will look like this. Lots of food for small birds. So to help make a home for our birds, we've been planting lots of new hedges and then we have lots of big old hedges and these are given place for the birds to, to nest in and to hide from predators. Across the farm we put lots of boxes up for birds to nest in. This one's a barn owl box and they'll be sitting inside there and there'll hopefully be some chicks who we'll get to see flying around in the evenings in the, later on in the year. Like people Birds and wildlife get really thirsty. So across the farm, we have a network of ponds. So there's always a bit of water available for the pond life, for the insects. And then in the evenings, we'll find lots of bats flying around here eating the insects. So there's always a water resource. Then also, we always put lots of areas that we don't farm, that we allow nature to use. These are full of insects and full of wild flowers. This is a shaded side of a wood. The sun's from the other side. So this area, whenever we've grown a crop on it, has always been shaded out and never yielded so well. So now we have a six metre grass margin right beside there, just to keep a continuous habitat there. And then we have a whole strip of winter bird food mix and it's got pollinating elements in. Absolutely buzzing with bees and butterflies. So this will be left and this will be our bird seed source for the winter. It's about 1.2 hectares all the way down here. But as I say, this area never really grew great wheat. So now I get Publix money to grow winter bird food, which is really great. And then we have our winter beans over on that side. We're in the better part of the field. So we're balancing our crops that we produce for food and areas we produce for wildlife, making it all fit in this landscape. On this bird seed mix, another reason we have it, it's quite so wide, is in the middle, just out from the wood there, we have this infield pond. This is always holding water. It's a great resource for wildlife. Often see deers and other things and loads and loads of dragonflies around here. So to protect it from our crop inside, we do a nice big chunk beside. So it just joins up all the things we can deliver. So here's some of the pictures of the different flowers, bees, butterflies and birds I get to see across our farm. It's a real enjoyment to have all this wildlife and nature around our farm. So next time you're in the countryside, have a look out and see what wildlife and nature you can see on farms. How many bees, butterflies and birds? How many different flowers can you spot amongst the crops 